hello welcome back to the channel so in this particular video we'll just see basics of oxidation and uh, reduction so these are very very basic aspects so in terms of uh, electrons what exactly is oxidation and uh, in terms of reduction uh, in terms of uh, electron uh, change definition what is reduction uh, that we shall see uh, in fact this oxidation and reduction it can be defined in variety of ways so we are now just uh, concerned with oxidation number and the definitions pertaining to electrons okay fine first uh, we can see um, what is oxidation see very simple oxidation in terms of electron it is nothing but loss of electron any species which is losing electron you can say that it is getting oxidized one example you can find it here see here zinc solid it is getting converted to zinc 2 plus of course if this reaction it takes place in water medium then zinc 2 plus ion it will be surrounded by water molecules which can be written in this way zinc 2 plus aqueous we can write it this way so zinc it is losing two electrons and we say that zinc it is getting oxidized so any species which gets oxidized it simply means that it is losing electrons so therefore loss of electron it is nothing but oxidation so this species zinc solid it gets oxidized remember it is not this species which is getting oxidized so it is this is the species zinc solid it is getting oxidized to zinc 2 plus fine and uh, zinc 2 plus further it cannot undergo uh, oxidation because zinc 2 plus further it cannot lose electrons so you cannot expect zinc 2 plus to undergo uh, oxidation further similarly what is reduction in terms of electron very simple gain of electron it will be called as reduction so any species which gains some electrons you can say that that species it is undergoing reduction for example you look at uh, this copper 2 plus aqueous this species you have and now this species it can accept two electrons if some other species it is capable of donating electrons to it then it by accepting electron it, it is getting converted to copper solid so this process it can be called as a reduction so in fact uh, electrochemistry if you have studied uh, this very basic aspect of uh, electrochemistry that uh, in galvanic cell this two reactions simultaneously uh, they happen uh, copper 2 plus it accepts electron which is donated by zinc so therefore uh, whenever a species if it is undergoing oxidation there should be some other species which is ready to accept electrons similarly if some species it is undergoing reduction then there should be some species which is capable of donating electrons right this is uh, uh, just a definition of uh, oxidation and reduction in terms of uh, electrons still if you have confusion usually this mnemonic it will be given leo says ger uh, loss of electron it is oxidation gain of electron it is reduction uh, so, uh, if still confusion persists, you can just remember this Leo says that what is oxidation, what is reduction in terms of electrons, easily it can be remembered. So, oxidation and reduction in terms of uh, oxidation number and uh, uh, oxidation number, it is simply this increase in oxidation number is oxidation, reduction always it results in decrease in oxidation number. Then, we should know even this fact what exactly is oxidizing agent and what exactly is reducing it. Oxidizing agent, it is simply a species which oxidizes some other species. Usually, I take uh, this analogy, or usually, uh, just for in a lighter note, I say this, right? So, see, LIC agent or uh, uh, a life insurance agent, what he does is he uh, makes polish to others. Similarly, oxidizing agent, it is species which oxidizes some other species, right? and but in turn it undergoes a reduction by itself this is very very important thing which should be kept in mind see oxidizing agent it should oxidize some other species it simply means that it should remove electrons from some other species if a species it is removing electrons from some other species it simply means that the species which is removing electrons it is taking electrons by itself therefore if it is taking electrons by itself it should undergo reduction here you can clearly find it so this is permanganate ion mno4 minus ion where mn it will be in plus 7 oxidation state in acidic medium it can act as oxidizing agent so by definition if it can act as oxidizing agent it simply means that it can accept electrons from from some other species right and by accepting electrons mn it changes its oxidation state from plus 7 to plus 2 it simply shows that it is accepting five electrons so it is accepting five electrons from some other species and that's how that some other species it is getting oxidized whereas this one it is getting reduced so oxidizing agent again i'm uh, repeating it remember it oxidizes some other species in turn it undergoes reduction even in the same uh, even the same thing it can be observed in this example too 
so these are uh, two very important oxidizing agents or uh, uh, two important uh, transition metal complexes which are which can act as oxidizing agent. the other one is dichromate ion or even chromate ion for that matter can be taken here right so chromate ion it is just CrO4 2 minus it's uh, a dimeric form approximately this Cr2O7 it is it's a dimeric form form it is also very popular or very important oxidizing agent here oxidation state of chromium if you compute it will be 6 plus right in acidic medium it can act as oxidizing agent and uh, if it acts as oxidizing agent again same thing what it can do is it will accept electrons from some other species the other species it gets oxidized and this by accepting electrons it gets reduced to 3 plus so here you can find plus 7 to plus 2 so it is a decrease in oxidation number which means this is a reduction reaction right so here also 6 plus 2 3 plus which is decrease in oxidation number which means this species dichromate species it is undergoing reduction in this case so oxidizing agent it by itself undergoes reduction. Same line, what is reducing agent? Reducing agent, it should be a species, species which reduces some other species. Oxidizing agent, it oxidizes, reducing species, reducing agent, it uh, reduces some other species, right? And in turn, it should undergo definitely oxidation here. If it is reducing some other species, it simply means that it is donating electrons to some other species. So that the some other species, it is accepting electron and it is undergoing reduction. Whereas this species, right, if it is donating electrons to some other species, it should be losing electrons and in turn it should have undergone oxidation. Here you can look at one uh, classic example carbon monoxide, if it is acting as reducing agent, in fact, it is a reducing agent, can act as a reducing agent. In uh, iron metallurgy, uh, at a particular temperature condition, carbon monoxide can act as a reducing agent. So, carbon monoxide, it is getting converted itself into carbon dioxide. Now, the oxidation state of carbon, if you look at here, it will be 2 plus, here it will be 4 plus, right? So, now what has happened is this has accept, this has lost two electrons. So, therefore, its oxidation state, it has changed from 2 plus to 4 plus. So, in turn, it has released electrons to some other species. And therefore, we can say that it has undergone uh, oxidation by reducing the other species. So, these are uh, some very important basic aspects that you are supposed to know. Uh, to solve the following questions of course some more inputs are also required but what i expect is i uh, never believe in the fact that everything it should be taught and then you should solve questions no so what i expect is minimum you should know and uh, uh, from that minimum uh, you should be able to solve all those questions right and uh, three questions you can find it here i i request you to solve or try all these questions and solutions for all these questions hope for this uh, has helped you to some extent at least to understand very basic aspects of oxidation and reduction thank you for watching this video thank you again